In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a truss styled bridge out of toothpicks. Now, since this bridge has to meet certain building requirements, we're going to take a minute and look over those requirements before we begin. The land on which your bridge is built has to measure exactly 35 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Your bridge has to cross a river that's 15 centimeters wide and placed exactly in the center of the land. The supports for your bridge can only touch the cardboard within these squares marked at either end of the board. And those squares have to be exactly five centimeters by five centimeters. Those squares need to be two and a half centimeters from the edge of the board and two and a half centimeters away from the river on both sides. A hole needs to be cut directly in the center of your board. That hole needs to be four centimeters by four centimeters. This hole allows the string that's going to be attached to the weighted bucket to be suspended from your bridge during testing. These are the supplies that you're going to need to build your bridge. You're going to need a bunch of round toothpicks, some Elmer's glue or some wood glue, a centimeter ruler, something to cut cardboard with, a pen or a pencil to make your markings, some string if you plan to build a suspension style bridge, masking tape to hold things together while glue is drying, some wax paper on which to do the gluing on, you don't want to glue things to your desk, some graph paper, and of course some cardboard to cut your land from. Now if you're doing a bridge competition and your bridge has to meet certain requirements, you'll want all your paperwork necessary for the competition. One of the first things you'll need to do is cut out your land and get everything measured up correctly. All right, once we have the land all cut out and measured, we're ready to move on to our next step, which is building the bridge. Now, as you might imagine, it's going to be pretty tricky to try to glue everything together at once, especially trying to keep these skinny little toothpicks standing upright while the glue is drying. So, if we use some grid paper and some wax paper, we can make the process a whole lot easier. We'll use some tape to tape our grid paper down to our work table. And we'll do the same with our wax paper. And if we build everything flat on our wax paper and grid paper first, it's easier to keep things straight and together. The first parts of the bridge to be built are going to be the size of the bridge. Once you have the size of your bridge built, uh, glued together, you're going to have to let them dry for a few hours. You can begin working on the supports, and there's a lot of different ways you can build the supports, but I'm going to show you one way that seems to work well here. Now it's important to remember that your supports must fit in this 5 centimeter square. 
can't be any wider than five centimeters. So I'm gonna build some supports that look kind of like this, and I just need to make sure that they're no, no wider than five centimeters. According to the rules for this bridge building competition, our bridge must be at least five centimeters above the river. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm building these supports. Right now it looks like I'm cutting it a bit close. So I'm going to slide these toothpicks up a little bit and uh, that's going to give me a little bit more clearance. You're going to see how that comes together in the next few steps of this uh, tutorial. All right, so we need to let this dry for a few hours before we come on to the next step. The glue has dried, so it's time to move on to the next step. Carefully peel off your bridge pieces from the wax paper and set them aside. You may want to save your wax paper and your grid paper for steps later on. We're going to attach our bridge supports to the cardboard. I'm going to use a small metal drill bit to poke these holes. Those supports are staying up pretty good on their own, so I'm just going to set this aside and let that dry for a few hours, and I'm going to work on the sides of my bridge. I want to get these sitting upright like this, so I'm going to use a little bit of tape to hold them in that position. I also want my bridge to be about five centimeters wide, so I'm going to measure the width and then tape the other side down. That looks pretty good, so now I'm going to reinforce the top of my bridge by gluing some toothpicks across it like this. And I'm going to place some supports along the bottom. If you find your bridge is leaning in one direction like mine is, find something heavy and prop it up on one side. This is going to have to dry for a few hours. Our supports have had some time to dry, so now we're going to add some additional support across the top like this. Now that the glue on our bridge has dried, it's time to peel it off our work mat and place it onto our, our structure over here. I'm going to place the bridge on top of my supports and then I need to take a close look and see where the wood is actually touching.
At this point, you're essentially done with your bridge. You just need to wait for things to dry. But uh, if you have more toothpicks to use up, then you should definitely use those to reinforce any of the weak spots 